Now, in this video, we're going to talk about creating pie charts out of data in Google Sheets. And one of the issues that comes up with pie charts is that pie charts have to be created from very simple data. You can't use very complicated data in pie charts. And so while we were able to create bar graphs in our previous example, in our previous video, that were quite complex that had lots of different columns of data included in them. The reason that the very simple data went to a pie chart is because that's the only thing that you can make out of uh, for pie charts. Pie charts have to be very simple data, one thing at a time. And uh, just because a value is in percentages doesn't mean it can go into a pie chart. Um, profit margins don't add up to 100%. And so you can't put those in a pie chart either. Um, now for our profit data, this does, uh, if you were to add them up and create a total, you could calculate percentages, how much of the overall profit does each of the departments represent. And so this is sensible kind of data to put into a pie chart. Now, in, again, in principle, you can make pie charts for sales, cost, or profit, but for this particular project, you should make it for profit because that's what's on the requested list. So, we're going to highlight the data. Again, if you have a total calculated, do not include the total. Um, only the individual raw values, individual calculated values. Um, we're going to go to chart. And uh, if you, you noticed in the previous video, the default was the pie chart. Uh, it's You may get this default to the bar graph because that's what we were just using. That's fine. Um, you can change this to the pie chart. Uh, there are other graphs, at least in um, uh, Excel and certainly in Sheets, that are equivalent to the pie chart. The donut chart tells you exactly the same things. Um, you can use that. Uh, do avoid any 3D effects. 3D effects can make the graph more difficult to read. But if you want to use the donut chart, that's equivalent. Um, pie charts are somewhat more standard. You do need to do some customization. Uh, so for instance, um, you do need a title. So overall averages is not very meaningful. Um, average profit per department. That's better. Um, there are no access titles that you have to worry about for this, but you do need to worry about the pie slice. Now you can change individual pie slices in Google Sheets, that's fine, um, but you don't need to. Um, you do need, um, for some of these other options, there are things where you can change the size of the donut hole or whatever, um, that's fine. What you do need to have on the slice label is a value or a percentage. Um, the default is none. And so I, I kind of want to warn you that if you when you save this and you convert it over into Excel, that none default is what you're going to get. And you're not going to get any labels. And that's bad. So you want to make sure that you choose um, either the label or the percentage is the preferred one. Um, now these... Uh, these diagrams, they're not necessarily going to show up when you convert this to Excel. So you may get asked to uh, update these if you don't make this change when you create the graph. Uh, in that case, you may have to um, save a PDF or go back in and do these customizations. Um, you can display both the value and um, the percentage on the slices, but Sometimes that will create display issues because that's a lot of information to display. Percentages are preferred and um, you can also include labels, but on this graph, um, either the legend will cover uh, having the, the department names or um, you can have them as separate labels. You may have to play around with this um, when because the Excel conversion, but uh, ideally, uh, if you run into issues, you can always 
um, when it gets converted. If it doesn't display correctly, you can save it as a PDF and submit both the PDF and the Excel version so that we can see, yeah, you made it from the correct data. Yeah, we can see the formulas and also we can see the display is correct. And as we noted before, when you're done making it, don't leave it on top of the data. All right, project complete.